Hey everyone, I want to talk about recording your performance. I run my own little home studio. Uh, it's I keep it pretty nice. And I see a lot of people that have nicer stuff and a lot of people that have uh, less nice stuff. But these are tips that work for everybody. The number one tip is work with what you have. Look at your location. Like, do you have a nice outside? Do you have a nice home studio? Like, what do you have to work with? Look at your location. Look around, be critical. Do you have a lot of clutter? So removing that clutter, uh, making things nice. Remember, you're inviting people into your home. Make a good impression. Uh, also, equipment. You know, generally speaking, musicians are gearheads. Uh, use your equipment. If you have a nice mixer, if you have a nice speaker, if you have a nice uh, mic, Use your stuff. If you've got pedals, use your stuff. That now's a great time to experiment and try new things, record it, play it back, hear what it sounds like. Clothing. It's good to wear it. Please wear clothing. I see a lot of things out there where people are shirtless and pantsless and just, you know, please God, put on, you know, put on a shirt. Uh, remember, you're inviting people into your home. Make a good impression. Something I see all the time, especially with people that record on iPhones, landscape, not portrait, which means if you're going to record using your phone, hold your phone this way, not this way. When you play it on YouTube and Facebook, uh, they want everything to be landscape, right? If you do it portrait, you'll get the bars on the side and you're basically getting, you're not getting anything left and right. Uh, think about a movie screen. Movie screens are not this way. They're this way. Please. Landscape. Or horizontal vertical, depending on what words you like to use. Try to create some sort of visual interest. It is your recording on camera. Um, if you're just recording your face and your singing and guitar playing is happening you know, all your guitar playing is right here, and it just looks like you're singing into the camera. Uh, it's not really that interesting. A lot of the tools we have nowadays for recording camera will allow us to change things like aspect ratio. Like I can, you know, expand it a little bit more so you can see a little bit more. Um, I can change the field of view pretty easily. You can also do some post-processing for that to change the change the the field of view that people see uh but just make it visually interesting for people right i mean you're recording video make it interesting for them if you're performing we want to see your hands if all we see is the frame here it's not that interesting uh it's pretty much you could just be recording an audio track and putting it up on Bandcamp, which is totally fine. Uh, you know, when we play guitar or piano or anything like that, like try to make sure we can see both your hands. It's much more interesting to see and hear that as opposed to just like your face. And I'm sure you all look great, right? Uh, but it helps a lot when you when you to create that visual interest, when you can see the hands, you can see the guitar, you can see what people are doing to create the music. That's part of what you're doing. You're showing people your creativity. Let's see what you're doing. Second to last, uh, Listen to your recording. It is, you're recording a live performance. You are inviting people in your home. So it's understandable that there are mistakes. Totally fine. I like it. Um, I dis, I don't listen to overly processed music. I, I don't listen to EDM or anything like that. I like the raw performances. I love live music. I really listen and I like how people do songs differently and you know, uh, I love the happy little mistakes people make, especially on stage. I love it. They're human, right? And these are all, they're human performances. I don't want to watch robots play. Uh, I love it when, you know, 
I'm watching a live performance and somebody, you know, they flub the lyrics, right? It's great, especially like a, a small little place. Or they, they miss hit a chord or the drummer, you know, misses a beat. It's totally fine. I love it. They're human, right? It's, it's great. It's a, uh, it's, it's fantastic when that happens because it's, it's natural. Uh, it's, it makes it a very human experience. And that's what I, that's what I love about music. So listen to it. It's okay that there are going to be mistakes and errors and it's totally fine. Uh, but sometimes the recording quality is not great. I, I've seen people, they've got a mic and they've got all the stuff set up and the only audio that's coming out is their phone because they, they didn't listen to the recording. They didn't realize that the, you know, the phone was the only audio that was picking up. Um, so go back, listen to it. Also, which helps a lot. I've uploaded videos. Uh, to YouTube and Facebook and other places before I go back and I watch it and I realize that the upload process, what they were doing to my video totally crushed it. Um, it totally destroyed it. So I had to, I had to delete it, figure out what was going on, re-upload it to see that there was a different result. I, I don't know why or how this happens, but I've had it happen a couple of times where I've uploaded the video on a Wednesday. It got totally butchered and then I upload it on a Thursday, a day later, and it's fine. So there's something on the other side. There's something on the, the Facebook side or the YouTube side that caused a problem. Uh, so go back when you upload it, record, listen to it. Uh, and lastly, make it public. Make your videos public. We want to see. I want to see what people are doing. I want to hear it. We all want to hear it. You're you're recording these things to to make it live. I get kind of a little sad of when people post a video, but then it says, you know, we get the bar that says, oh, this is not public. Um, make your stuff public, especially for live, uh, for live or coordinated events. Um, you really need to make it public so everybody can come watch the video, especially when people are doing like, um, watch parties on playlists. It needs to be public because there's somebody that's going to be, they're going to hit the watch party. And, uh, you know, even the, after it's the live watch party, they're going to hit the watch party. They're going to be listening to it. And then all of a sudden your video is not public. Uh, you're missing, you're missing views. You're missing opportunities to get feedback. You're missing opportunities to get new fans. Um, yeah, you're missing opportunities for likes. It's great. It's important. So I hope that, I hope that helps a lot. Just, you know, just to recap, um, work with what you have, look at your location, try to make it nice, studio outside, remove clutter, make it neat. Um, you're inviting people in your home. Use your equipment. You've got lots of gear. Use it. Use it, right? Uh, please wear a shirt, <laughs> wear clothes. Um, uh, if you're going to use your phone, make sure you're in, uh, landscape mode or, you're holding the, you're having the phone be horizontal. Um, I want to see your hands. Most people want to see your hands. M make it visually interesting. Uh, you know, do something nice. Pets are always great in the background. Uh, me personally, I love seeing pets in the background. Uh, listen to your recording after you upload it. After you record it, listen to it. Uh, after you upload it, listen to it. Lots of things can happen. And then make it public. We all want to see and have a great time recording.